guys, I'm Justin Derrico. I'm sitting here with Mark from Tone Merchants. Uh, and we're just gonna talk a little bit about my rig that they built today. Cool, Justin. So um, basically you came with an idea mm -hmm. of what you wanted and drawn out on a little piece of paper mm -hmm. and you showed Dave Friedman and uh, Dave made it Made it reality. come to life, yeah. Basically what I had was a pedal board with tons of pedals, all those pedals on a board and which was really cool. I like having my stuff in front of me and all that stuff. But I found myself having to like tap dance, you know, and it was hard to get like, you know, two or three things on at once, right. you know. And so I, I just decided, you know what, the hell with it, I'm gonna go with the switching system. And I was really surprised at like, how easy it was. Like with, with yeah. this unit, you know, it was really, really easy. And the difference in the sound of the rig, because I guess now everything is, it's almost as if I'm directly into the amp. Exactly. Uh, so like all the, the guys like on the voice, like like the producers and, and sound guys were just coming up to me telling me like, what did you change, man? Because it's, it's so much better. Like everything is like so much clearer. Exactly. Because you're not, you're not running through everything all at once, all the time. You're, you're picking and choosing the loops that you want to, to play for a particular patch, right? Yeah. Let's just talk a little bit about what you have in the rack. Okay. Um, I can see you've got a Furman power conditioner, mm -hmm. and next in line you've got a, an old Roland SD3000. Let's talk about that for a second, because that's a really cool unit that's been around for, for you know, ever. 30 years or so, I think. Um, but it's got, it's just got this certain vibe and certain sound to it that it, it's not like the new processors of today. Right. Um, sometimes older is better. Um, what do you, what's your feelings on this unit? Well, you know, I, I never, I didn't know much about it. I was doing some re research online and stuff, um, you know, about what, you know, some of the older cats were using and stuff like that. And, um, and I came across that. And so I, I just was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to get it and see how it is. And I, I got it and I just, I love the way it changed. It changes the, the character of the sound a little bit, you know? Cool. Uh, and I just, I love what it did. So here it is. Right now, all, all I've got on is uh, the Shiva, and I'm going through the dirty channel with uh, a little bit of compression with the the Wampler Ego, and then um, and then the SD. <laughs> Cool just, that there's a lot of delay going on, yeah. but it never gets in the way of the notes. Yeah. Maybe let's take a look at the top rack or the top pedal tray and, sure. and just see what's in there. So basically, uh, and then I've got another delay unit which is in the loop of the Shiva, and that's the Boss Giga Delay, which I think is awesome as well. It's a cool modern delay that's it's still real chewy and nice and, and kind yeah, of a warm, nice warm thing. And um, the other cool thing that you guys did was wiring a tap tempo um, for this. Yes, that's right. Dave took an old Boss uh, NS2 and gutted it and turned it into a tap demo. demo. Yeah, yeah, and he did that for me because I'm so used to stepping on this side oh, of it for the, on, for the tap. On a boss type, which was really oh, cool, yeah. you know. So that's in the loop. The vibe, the two delays, and then I've got a CE2 in the back. Everything else is in front of it, the amps, because that way I can have the effects for both heads. So we've got we've got our our switcher, one of our switchers here. Uh, which is an RJM product, the um, Mini FX Gizmo, right? Yep. And we've got an Octron mm -hmm. that's in front of the amp. We've got a, a, a modified OD from MXR, a BB preamp, Phase 90, mm -hmm. and your uh, Eco Ego compressor. Ego, yeah. Right. And you want the next tra tray to come out. Mm -hmm. And we've got your Vibe, which is in the loop. Yep. Uh, the M5, which is not in loop, that's in, in, in front, front of the amp. Yep. Uh, DD6, which is in front. Front, yep. Stereo chorus, which mm -hmm. is in front. Flanger in front. Pog in front. And pog in front. Yep. And again, we have another switcher here and another power supply. So, and then we've got this uh, custom amp switcher that Dave built. Uh, that's all isolated and everything. And that switches your two amps. Mm -hmm. And I guess he... <clears throat> he I guess they make switchers and stuff, but he designed this one because since I have 
delays in the loop um, of this head, and he didn't want him trailing into, I guess, the other head, which could cause some serious damage to the head, so I right. guess. So he built this um, to prevent that. Right. Um, cool. So And it works beautifully. And we've got our two other uh, Voodoo Labs products mm -hmm. uh, switchers too. So you got lots of switchers going on. You have four switchers, and it's all controlled by your Ground Control Pro. Mm -hmm. um, so let's listen to some more sounds. Sure. Um, we'll start with maybe the top rack with the, uh, let's listen to that Octron. That's sure, really yeah, the cool Octron is, is a really cool thing. It's not something I'd step on on every song, but like, you know, if I got like, you know, if I want to play something exciting and different, uh, like on a solo or, or if I'm just playing like a... So you can kind of get away with chords. I mean, sometimes yeah. it gets a little messy, but it's kind of cool, you know, like in like kind of a it's trashy. A this is my rig. So right now I'm in the edit mode so I can to edit my sound. So like if I wanna say I wanna save that sound and uh, all I have to do now, since it's 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 been turned on, I just hold down the edit, hit yes, and so now well, that on preset has that option. preset has it. So like let's say I go to this, which is just like a dirty rhythm. And the other thing that's cool is now, so you, you notice like, I'm, I'm going from just a straight up dirty nothing on it to delay and octron and, you know, dirty. And, and also you've got uh, eight instant access switches mm -hmm. too, so you can take your favorite pedals that you use and have them yep. on instant access. So even though you've got something programmed in one, two, and three, and four, you can quickly just go to any one of your IAs mm -hmm. and turn that particular unit on. So like, yeah, like on a, on a clean, see, so yeah, like I'm just on a clean and I want to add like some compression. You know, it's really cool, you know, for that, say I'm, you know, I'm feeling kind of groovy and I want to put a little... You know, so right now you've got the the uh, Wampler compressor yep. and the Phase uh, yep. 90 on. Okay. And then I'm like, you know what, man? Let's put some chorus on there. So it works just like any any sort of uh, a pedal board. Like say you have your pedals out on front in front of you. So I've got those as instant access. So anytime, like I don't have it programmed, and I just want to, you know, uh, add. I'm feeling uh, maybe inspired, and I want to. You know, do something different. I've got those at hand as well. Talk about your uh, your Boss DD6 delay that's on the first shelf. Um, and Dave built you mm -hmm. a little tap tempo switch out of an old Boss pedal because you're really used to the uh, the way that um, DD6 felt on your foot. So yep. it was really cool that he was able to just take an old. It was boss a nice touch, pedal. for um, sure. So let's hear what that sounds like. So basically, like right now, I've got it on sort of like a. I call it like you know the the u2 sort of edge right sort of you know the dotted 16 thing so it works nice for that so you get the So it's it's cool. it's it's cool, you know. Like I'll use that like a lot, like on dance songs and stuff like that, or or whatever I gotta do. And like it's it's kind of a 
a cool trick, you know? Cool. So I think we've taken care of the first shelf. Um, the next shelf has the Deja Vibe. Yep. The Line 6 M5, the Pog, the Flanger, um, Stereo Chorus, and the DD6 Digital Delay. So let's listen to the, uh, let's see what the vibe does. And again, that's in the loop, right, mm -hmm. of the Shiva. So like the, the reason why I've got it in the loop is because I kind of like the way it's, it sounds like, you know, especially this particular vibe. Sometimes they get a little too swashy right. when they're in the loop. But the way, you know, I guess it's it's just the nature of this vibe. It's, it's um, I kind of like, yeah, like it's, you know. It, it works for the way you're using it. Yeah. It sounds really good. So uh, the DD6 delay, that's in front of the amp mm -hmm. in this case, right? Yep. And so what I like to do with the, the DD6 is, uh, like it's really nice on the bold finger. On the clean, right. it's just really. You know, it's really nice, and it's and it's really easy to adjust. Like a lot of times, like I find myself because this one's not on tap tempo, right. so I mainly like I'll use it for more vibey kind of things, and 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 just sort of you know set it however I feel, you know, like. Um, but it's a really nice sounding delay. Like the Arion, it's the Arion I've got. It's a modded one, so you could switch it over to get like a warble kind of a, a kind of a thing. But I, I just pretty much use it for its chorus because it's nice and it can add a little top end uh, because it, with the tone knob on it, which is really cool. Um, a little more sparkly. A little sparkly, yeah. <laughs> Um, and what about your, you've got a boss flanger in there. Mm -hmm. What is that, a BF2 or BF2? BF2? Yeah, uh, maybe it's a BF, I don't know. BF3. BF3, yeah. Okay. So, uh, and that one actually, let's see, I actually haven't used that one a ton lately. But it's, uh, you know, you gotta have a, a flanger in your rig because you never know when, when you're gonna need it. But here's a, you know, quick demonstration of how easy it is to, to pull it up. Jazz with a little bit of flange. Yeah. Awesome. So Justin, what about the Pog? What do you use that for? Uh, the Pog is actually something I got um, because of a song with Pink. Um, the song So What, I think when they recorded it, the riff was basically this kind of pentatonic riff and they doubled it, you know, up an octave and then up another octave and down an octave as well. So I was like, how the hell, I'm the only guitar player, how, you know, how the hell am I gonna get that sound? So I got the Pog. Um, which uh, I've got a preset for. And again, this one tracks really nice too. Uh, it's very reminiscent of uh, like a 70s synth. Yeah, yeah. Like a, almost like a Moog or something. And it's cool because this one, uh, it's really nice um, with chords. Uh, let me get, get rid of this distortion. Uh, whoops. Organy yeah. sounding, and you can almost set it up even even nicer than like what I've got. It if you back off a little bit of the low octave and a little bit of the top, you almost get this sounding twelve stringy. You know, whatever. That's 
but you know, it's, it's a neat texture, but that was the reason I got it. And then I was like, yeah, it's a pretty neat pedal, you know? Yeah, lots of uh, experimentation can be done. Now, what about the, uh, you've got a Line 6, uh, what is that, an M5, I think? Yeah, and the M5 is, is like my utility pedal, because it's got everything in it. Um, you know, like, um, it's got great envelopes, you know. You know, it's great for, for funky, you know, whatever. And it's got a bunch of different, different envelopes in it. It's got distortions in it. But one of the things I really love on it is the tremolo. And you got a, a couple different options too. 